European Championship. Got a good left hand by Richie Woodall. And the balance of Branco almost went. And this is a much more aggressive Richie Woodall. His uh, last couple of contests, having come back from a serious hand injury and uh, fairly extensive operations, it's been very measured, very calculated, and uh, perhaps lacking a little bit in ferocity, but not this time. The defence by Woodall, keeping the left hand up as Branco came across with the right. Branco, if anything, stepping inside the left jab of Woodall. So that's swelling underneath the left eye of the Italian. This is for the vacant title, remember. He's all very conscious that Franco does carry a lot of power in that right hand. Neither left nor right really landing from Woodall, but he's coming forward. An Italian corner keeping up a non-stop tirade. The rubber cut from Woodall, almost finding the target. He showed much more variation in the opening two and a half rounds than he's done in his last couple of Commonwealth title defences. It's got a little uh, smear of blood coming from the nose of Woodall. He gets it right across the Commonwealth champion. Again, blocking the right hand of Silvio Branco. Woodall's gum shield has come out accidentally, and uh, Andre Dupoch, the French referee, will stop and have it washed and replaced. Interesting little uh, bit of a to do before the contest about the size of the gloves. They're using the 10 ounce gloves which the British Boxing Board of Control insisted upon, whereas the European Boxing Union say that uh, eight ounce gloves should be used. The heavier gloves will be much better for Richie Woodall's suspect hands, or a good right hand. Nothing suspect about that shot. That was a good shot by Richie Woodall. The best and cleanest punch of the contest so far. Franco takes it, remember, he's never ever been stopped. Agostino Cardamoni and the bell has saved Branco and Branco acknowledges that he was caught by the Commonwealth champion and it was a sweeter right hand than you possibly wish for so Branco beleaguered and well and truly belaboured at the end of that round by the Commonwealth champion he looks fairly composed but he took a sweet right hand from Woodall straight over the top and the legs wobbled and Woodall came in and got him again so two in a row and Woodall looking for the third and for the finish great attack by Woodall but Branco looking reasonably confident Woodall teed him up with the left got him with the right and right through again with the right and the defence was in tatters Court is 10 seconds Richie Woodall off his stool some five or six seconds before the bell. And that's the second time they've had to ring the bell twice. The uh, timekeeper having trouble. But Richie Woodall had no trouble finding his man, Silvio Branco, from Italy at the end of that last run. And there's a, a degree of force about Richie Woodall that we haven't seen for some time. And they're telling Branco in his corner to move and keep away from Woodall. Woodall has to keep his composure. There's no point in him trying to flail around and try to finish this. He's got the measure of Silvio Branco now. That's a question of composure. Well, it's desperately cold underfoot here in the ice rink in Telford. A lot of cold, cold feet. But everybody has risen to Richie Woodall, especially at the end of that last run. 
of desperation about the work of Branko, who's cut around the side of his left eye. Branko was cut. There's a tiny trickle of blood, and Woodall's got him again with the right. And the Italian has cut. Oh, it's a dreadful cut. That is a bad cut. It's right at the corner. Now, the referee will have to have a good look at that. And the doctor is too. And that has spurred Woodall on. And Woodall is showing more aggression in the opening few rounds here in this European title fight than he has done in his last couple of Commonwealth fights. This is a totally different Woodall. He had his detractors after what people might have regarded as very, very straightforward Commonwealth defences. There's a gum shield out. I think it's Woodall's again. And he's not worrying. And Franco, his eye is cut open, his mouth is hanging open, and the Italian is looking altogether somewhat the worse for wear. Monsieur Ducroc from France is having a look. I don't think it's bothering him. And Franco, remember, he's only been down once in his career, and that was too as a fellow Italian, Agostino Cardamoni, who's challenging for the world title. The man who vacated this European division. And one more big hand from the right of Richie Woodall. One more big shot may just win it for him. The cut is right at the corner of the eye, so it's not impairing the vision at all. At this stage, uh, it may not be one to threaten an early end to the contest. Woodall's just uh, got himself back together again. And indeed, as Franco is coming forward towards the end of the third round. The fourth round, I should say. If anything, uh, Woodall is taking... Oh, that's another right hand. He stepped in close and shortened the punch quite beautifully. Franco tried to use that right hand. It's dispatched uh, no fewer than 18 opponents so far. Woodall again, and the gum shield is out again. And it's uh, Woodall's again. That cut is certainly not getting any better. Referee ignoring the gum shield at the stage. Only a few seconds to go to the end of the round. What another good round for Richie Woodall. He'll kick his gum shield over and he'll sit down. Well pleased with his night's work so far. And they will be very anxious indeed in the Italian corner. Now that is uh, a nasty enough little cut. Plenty of experience in that Italian corner. They'll get to work with the adrenaline solution and try to stem it. Richie Woodall, a fair smear of grease. 